Hi, in this video we are going to discuss the relational operators. Relational operators are also called comparison operator because they are used to compare a couple of values. Generally, in other programming languages, whenever you do a comparison, they return you a boolean value that is either true or false. But since in C language we don't have a boolean type, so they return 1 if the condition is true and 0 if the condition is false. So here you can find these 6 operators are here that is equals to when you are comparing two values whether they are equal or not, you will use a double equals to, then not equals to, greater than, less than, greater than equals to or less than equals to. So here in this particular example we will just check the value in the output but in our coming videos we will use these values as a boolean to do some decision making. So let's see a quick program for the implementation of these relational operators. So now here we can see like there are the implementation of all the six relational operators that is double equals to, not equals to, greater than equal to, less than equal to, greater than and less than. So as we have already discussed just now like whenever you will compare any two values using these operators in the result you will get 1 or 0 where 1 will represent a true where 0 represents a false. So as you can see A is 10, B is 20 so when I will say whether they are equal so obviously they are not so here we will get a 0 that is false. Similarly, when we will compare that whether they are not equal, obviously they are not equal, so this condition will be true and it will return me a 1. Similarly, A is 10, B is 20 and when I say A is greater than or equal to B, then obviously it will not be true, so again it will be a 0 while this less than condition will give you a 1 because a is at least less than, if it is not equal at least it is less than B. And then when you will say A is greater than B, again it will be a false, so a 0. And at last when I will say A is less than B, yes A is less than B, so it is true. So output should be 0 1 0 1 0 1. So let's execute and here you can see 0 1 0 1 and 0 1. So this is how these comparison operator works. Now let me give the same value to A as well and let's see what the changes we will get. So now this will say 1 because A is equal to B this time. A is not equal to B? No. Now they are equal so it will be false. A is greater than or equal to B? A is of course not greater than but yes it is equal to B. So this will return a 1. A is less than or equal to B, again they are not less than but yes they are equal so again a 1. A is not greater than B and A is not lesser than B so these two will give you a 0. So now the output will be 1 0 1 1 0 0. So let's execute so 1 0 1 1 and then 0 0. So this is how your boolean values will be getting when you will compare two values and later we will use these values 0 and 1 for executing the loop and for the decision making using the if else statement.